Hey everyone, it's great to be with you guys today. It's been a fun month so far at Kids Point. We're looking at what it means to be creative because God has given each of us the gift of creativity. Creativity is imagining what you can do because you're made in God's image. And there are a ton of ways to be creative, like painting, writing, and playing music. You can also be creative by building things and solving problems. Since art is a fun way to use your creativity, I've got a great drawing activity for you today. For, all, for it, you'll need your clay creation or Play-Doh, a piece of paper, and some crowns or markers. I want you to create a scene on the piece of paper as a backdrop for your creation. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. All right, make sure you have those things, pause the video, and get creating, and I'll meet you right back here right after. Ready, set, create. Man, I can't wait to see your creations. Make sure you keep these things, put them aside, because I want to see them next week. In Psalms 96 and 9, we read this. Worship the Lord because of his beauty and holiness. All you people of the earth tremble when you are with him. See, there's a special beauty and wonder for our God and, and all that he has made. So let's lift our voices together to worship him now. So sing this with me. You know, we've had fun this month seeing God's creativity all throughout his big story. From the beginning of time, God's creativity has been on display through, through all the things that he created, including, guess what, us, yeah. So this week, we're diving into a story in the New Testament when Jesus was on earth going around teaching and performing miracles. There was a man named Mark who recorded many things that happened during the time of Jesus' life. The stories that Mark wrote are found in a book of the Bible. And guess which book it was? Yeah, the book of Mark. So let's see what happens in our story today. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. 
As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Mark, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Jesus began teaching and healing in Galilee. He had become so popular that a whole mob of people would show up when he entered the town. Oh, my tummy hurts. My donkey has bad breath. Tell me how to get rich quick in my spare time working from home. For a time, Jesus stayed out of the towns in lonely places. But even then, people came to him. So he returned to the town of Capernaum and word of his arrival spread like wildfire. Jesus says, come and get ready. Stop what you're doing, Jesus is back. Everybody heard the news and even a man we'll call, we'll call him Bo. He's here in Capernaum. See, but Bo couldn't just hop up and see Jesus. In fact, he laid on a mat every single day, unable to walk a single step. So his four friends got together. You think Jesus could help him? Well, sure. How do we get him up there? We've got arms, we've got legs, we'll carry him. So the four friends each took a hold of a corner of the mat and carried Bo directly through the town to the home where Jesus was staying. And by the time they arrived at the house, they saw everyone in town crowded inside and jammed around the windows and doors. Guys? There's no way to get inside. I know. Bo can crowd surf into Jesus. That's uh, one idea. Or, or, or I could tie a couple of foxes together, set their tails on fire, and, and let them loose to make a pathway inside. That's also an idea. We could try the roof. Bo? The roof? We're not turning back now. So together, the four friends carried Bo on his mat, up the narrow stairs that led up to the roof. See, they could hear Jesus' voice below filtering through the clay roof tiles. God's kingdom is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds. But when you plant the seed, it becomes the largest of all. Guys, how does coming up here help? We're closer to Jesus. He's right beneath us. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's time to raise the roof. Working together, the four friends shifted the heavy tiles until it made a hole in the roof below. See, they could see Jesus along with a crowd of confused religious leaders, teachers, and some townspeople. The sky is falling. Time to move it. Using ropes, the four friends picked up Bo's mat again and slowly lowered him down through the, the hole in the roof. You can just imagine what people would have seen. And I'm free, free falling, no! Don't worry, we got you, Bo. Everyone below scrambled to get out of the way as, as Bo's mat came down to the rest of the floor right in front of Jesus. What a sight this would have been. Um, hi? See, it seemed as though everyone in the room held their breath as Jesus looked up to see the four friends peering down from the hole in the roof. Jesus could see the deep faith that had led them to bring their friend to him. Then Jesus looked down at Bo and smiled. Son, your sins are forgiven. The religious leaders were shocked. Though no one said a word, they were practically screaming inside their heads. What? That's evil. Only God can forgive sins. But see, here's the thing. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking. If Jesus could forgive sins, he was claiming to be God. Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take your mat, and walk? Huh, fat chance of that. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. From above, Fred, Mary, Pip, and Sam all watched in fascination as Jesus turned back to Bo. Get up, take your mat, and go home. Every eye in the room turned from Jesus to Bo for the tiniest moment. Bo hesitated. Then he sat up with growing confidence and he swung his legs around and then he scrambled up to his feet, up above his friends, and they, they cheered. Huzzah! Oh, you go, Bo! See, Bo took a step, a, a hop, a, a leap. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. And as the crowd watched in amazement, Bo picked up his mat and danced right out of that house. 
People move aside faster than if Bo had been, been a fox with its tail on fire. I've never seen anything like it. Well, bless his heart and praise the Lord. Bo had been healed by the power of God and because his friends had worked together to help bring him to Jesus. Jesus had shown everyone in that crowded house just how powerful he is. He could heal a man and make him walk again. And he had the power to forgive sins. Think about the creativity it took for those four men to get their friend to Jesus. See, they didn't let anything stop them because they knew Jesus could help. Because they, they worked together, the, their friend met Jesus, and sure enough, Jesus healed him. God gives us the ability to work together too. He really does. Our bottom line says this, God created you to work with others. And there's so much we can do when we come together to use our creativity along with our other people, right? Which is amazing. God made each of us in his own image and he wants us to work together to share his love with the people around us. With the creativity God gives us, we can do so much more together than we could ever do by ourselves. Our bottom line says this again, that God created you to work with others. Say that with me. God created you to work with others. The next time you see a big project, think about how you could work with others to accomplish it. Maybe it's helping a family in your neighborhood because their mom is really sick. You could get a few friends together to help her out. Maybe by entertaining her, her young kids or, or even doing yard work for her. Maybe your parents want to chip in by buying her some groceries or, or making her dinner. You know, if we all share our creativity, we can make a big difference together. It's like we always say here at Kids Point, I should treat others the way I want to be treated. And when we work together, we remind each other of how God made us to be creative and that we can put our creativity together as we find ways to lend a hand. Thanks again for coming to Kids Point today. You know, we've got one more week of our summer series, then things are gonna look a little bit different around here at Kids Point. And I'm super excited to tell you all about it, but you'll have to wait till next week. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time, right here, same time, same place, right at Kids Point. See you later.